So if you're new to this channel, I do hauls every season as opposed to every month because I really don't purchase a lot of books. Uh, but this month was my birthday, so this is gonna be a little bit of a bigger haul than we're used to. But before we get started, a shout out to today's sponsor, Skillshare. Do you need an excuse to be able to haul more books? Maybe you need to take a class on how to read faster so you can get through your TBR and buy more books. I also happen to have a video on that, shameless plug. Or maybe you need a class on writing so that you can fill your bookshelves with your own books. Skillshare is an online learning community with over 25,000 classes on design, business, photography. I personally use them for studying Spanish. If you're interested in something, you should definitely check out Skillshare because chances are they have a class for you. Skillshare also happens to be less than $10 a month. And if you use my link in the description, you get the first two months free. So you should definitely sign up because I personally use them and I think you should too. We're gonna start with the books that were sent to me by you guys because y'all are awesome and I wanna show that stuff off. So starting with an homage to Jen, who's my friend, she has a channel, Book Refuge. She sends me stuff sometimes. She sent me this beautiful copy of The Lives of Locke Lamora, which I love because it has those like Bible thin pages, which a lot of people hate on, but I think they're phenomenal. She also sent me three books for my birthday. She sent me Pull and Dark, which I'm trying to remember, I believe this is historical fiction. Um, oops, that's not it. Unbroken, which is a nonfiction, and actually Corey owns this book as well, so I'm trying to get him to read it with me, as well as this book. Um, something about a duchess? Anyway, I, it's actually out in the car because I've already started reading it, and, um, you know, we'll give it a go. I'm only like 50 pages into the mass market paperback, so I'm not, not super far. Actually, I don't even think I'm 50 pages in, but I am currently reading it, so hopefully you'll see my thoughts on it soon. And that's a romance. Jen is a lover of romance and she's wanting to help me find some romance books that I'll enjoy too. Next I have The Ables as well as Speak. And if I'm remembering co correctly, the same subscriber sent me both of these because both of these books uh, were very important to them. And so I want to pick these up really, really soon. I think, is this one a classic? Nope. Publication of 1999. Definitely not. What about this one? Well, either way, Thank you. I really want to read these. I think both of these are more like hard-hitting books, which I am a lover of. Watership Down, as well as this illustrated edition of The Wheel of Time, or I guess it's not an illustrated edition. It's the world of The Wheel of Time, which I was warned not to read until I get to a certain point in The Wheel of Time series, so I haven't started this yet. And this was for my son, which I'm gonna read first because a few people mentioned that it's a little bit not really for a young kid. So I'm gonna read it first so I can kind of determine and then eventually I'll read it with him and it was a really sweet gift. One of my subscribers that I chat with often sent me Recursion, which I'm super excited about. Keep your eyes open, it'll be in next month's TBR. I read Dark Matter, um, which is also gonna be in this haul. I read Dark Matter uh, last month, I think, and I loved it. So one of my subscribers wanted to send me Recursion so that I could continue on with Blake Crouch, which I'm super excited about because I was gonna get it from the library anyway, but the waiting list was super long, so when he offered to send this to me, I was like, yeah. I have the first book in the Malazan Books of the Fall Book of the Fallen um, series, which again, I'm starting next month, and I am excited and terrified about it because basically everybody that talks about this book um, says, or this series rather, says that it's the hardest thing they've ever read, but the most rewarding. And frankly, that's not a great selling point. <laughs> so, I was planning on reading these books anyway, and then a subscriber sent this to me randomly. Um, so that was incredibly thoughtful and amazing timing. Speaking of amazing timing, a subscriber sent me The Shining, not knowing that I was about to read it. I had it on the following month's TBR, and I had not announced yet that I was gonna read it, and it came in the mail right before that TBR went up, which just imagine that timing. I had already filmed the video and everything. Um, but anyway, I've already read this. I don't know if the review is up yet. I'll link it if it is, and if it isn't, then it's probably gonna be up in the next day or two, but just finished that one. The Aeronauts Windless, which was another one sent by a subscriber. Again, I had never read any Jim Butcher, and this just happened to be a book that one of my subscribers really loved and wanted to see me talk about, so he sent it to me, so naturally I made it a priority, and I loved it. Um, I'm definitely gonna get to the Dresden, si Dresden Files, and I think it's called Code Alexa, 
series. He has other books. I'm going to read them. I really, 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 really enjoyed this. I like Jim, Butcher, Jim Butcher's simple writing, yet complex character work and plots. Just a wonderful mixture for me. So really enjoyed this. I think I gave it like 4.5 stars. I really liked it. Robin Hood is another book sent to me by a subscriber. This is actually a book that I buddy read over on Caravan and I gave it three stars overall. Um, I enjoyed it, but I didn't really have any strong feelings about it. And the last book is Magic the Gathering. So I didn't know this was a book. I thought it was exclusively a card game. So I was really surprised to get this and the footage where Drennan and I unboxed this um, got corrupted so you never got to see it in a vlog. But yeah, Magic the Gathering. I don't know, I guess, I assume this is a book based off of the card game. I don't really know. I need to look into it, but it's definitely fiction. It's not like an instruction manual. I'm very curious about this one. Okay, now let's get into birthday gifts. Um, so we'll start with my mother-in-law. Um, got me book two in the, or volume two, in the 20th Century Boys. I read volume one and really especially loved the way it ended. It was a pretty slow start, but the way it ended was great. And I really wanted to continue on, but my library doesn't have these books, so I couldn't continue on. But my mother-in-law got me volume two, so I'm going to be continuing really soon, maybe even this month. And then my mom, she, I, she, I always just give her a list of books to get me for my birthday. So first is Dark Matter, which I already showed you, and she has already almost finished reading. She actually asked me about a week ago. Um, she said, I really just need a book that I'm gonna love. She said she's been putting down every book she picks up lately. Um, and I, I asked her, have you already bought my birthday gifts? And she said, yeah. And I said, just read Dark Matter before you give it to me. So she's been reading it. She's almost done with it. She's really, really enjoying it. I wanted a physical copy because I've already read it. I read it on ebook through my library, but I wanted a physical copy because I really think Corey will love it. So I want to give him the opportunity to read it whenever he gets around to it. I got The Count of Monte Cristo and it is an unabridged version. It's like a thousand and some odd pages long. It's over 12. 1200 pages and when I unwrapped this beast I was so excited and both my husband and my father thought that it was ridiculous that I was excited about such a chunker to which I responded this is the size of a stormlight book and they've both read all three stormlight books what are you talking about this book's great so I read the abridged version because that's what my library had um, but I do eventually want to reread it and I'd like to reread through the unabridged version so I asked for this for my birthday and I'm gonna read it soon not soon I'm gonna give myself a little bit of space but eventually I'll, I'll read it I got us against you which is book two um, after bear town it's by Frederick Bachman he's one of my favorite authors and um, so bear town this series I don't even know what it's called maybe it's just called the bear town series anyway this series is supposed to be a three book series but Bachman just takes long gaps between writing the sequels because they take a lot out of him, which I think is really understandable. So I already own Bear Town. I really want to reread and annotate books one and two before book three comes out. It'll probably be a while. I'm going to wait till close to the release date and book three doesn't even have a release date announced yet. So it'll be a minute. Things My Son Needs to Know About the World, another Frederick Bachman book. This is probably going to be the next one that I read um, and I'm really, really excited about it. A lot of people don't love this book. I've heard quite a bit of negative reviews and almost always the negative reviews I hear are people saying Bachman tried to be funny and it didn't work. I personally think Bachman is really funny. I see his humor in all of his books. I've always thought he was funny so I feel like a book where he's leaning into his humor since I love his humor already I think it's going to be a hit for me. It might not. You never know but I hope it doesn't let me down because I'm really anticipating it. Um, the Deal of the Lifetime, which is another Frederick Bachman book. I actually don't know. This is a Christmassy story, so I'll probably read it around December. Uh, but other than that, I don't actually know anything about it. Oh, I forgot this in the section about su what subscribers sent me. This is called Year One by Nora Roberts. Uh, a subscriber sent this to me because he loved it and he wanted me to read it and it's on my TBR for this month and I'm going to be reading it in September. So 
you'll have my thoughts on it really soon. And the interactive edition of Peter Pan. I already have, what are they called? Paper? No, what are they called? Well, I'll have this edition linked in the description. I have, I'll have all these books linked in the description. I hate myself for videos like this because it takes so long to put all the links in the description. But anyway, um, this is the interactive edition. I already have the Beauty and the Beast as well as the ha the collection of Hans Christian Andersen um, short stories. I have both of these in this edition and they're just, they're really interactive and I like them a lot. Like they have elements ugh, that go with the story um, and having already read this story a half a dozen times, I of course recognize exactly where each of these things are going to be matched to. I want to show you one of the maps. There's several maps in here and they're really cool. Here's one. So this is how it looks. And then you unfold it. Ta-da! I don't know. I just love these editions. I read The Beauty and the Beast for the first time through this edition and it was such a great experience. So I'm really excited to read Peter Pan on my yearly reread. I'm excited to read it in that edition. And that's all, I think. Is that all? I think that's all. Um, I, if I missed your book, if you sent me a book, I'm sure it's on my TBR shelf. I'm sorry if I missed it and didn't include it in this haul, but I gotta lift these. This is another reason why I don't do hauls very often. Who wants to lift this many books? Then I guess you could also say, if I did them more often, I wouldn't have to Okay, that's fine. Don't worry. No! Ah, hate. Thing is that I'm sitting on my bed at this angle, so it's hard to get these books to stay up when they're sitting on. All you people that need to keep your books in pristine condition at all times probably hate me right now. I hate me right now. But not for the same reason you do. No! Stay there. No! Come here, books. Come here, books. <laughs> Who are you even talking to right now? You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> this is the last try. This doesn't work. I'm quitting booktube. Okay. Okay. No! No! Okay. Okay. These are all the books I talked about in this video. I post videos every Sunday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. I'll see you guys again soon. Bye.